got the opportunity and then I'm like, nobody's going to order from like six four. God, there are other big brands. I was looking at all the big Nigerian mm -hmm. brands that they picked as well. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the whole thing, they were like, we're the top seller. Are like we serious? sold the most items. I am Ty I know, and I make videos about travel and lifestyle in Africa. And I also make videos where I feature big businesses and tell you stories about how they were built from the ground up. But on this show, we're going to be shining a light on small business stories. And we're going to be exploring some of the tools and some of the ways they've been able to stay afloat in a very harsh business environment like Nigeria. This is Small Business Stories. What's up guys, how are you doing today? It's Tyra I know here again and today I have a very interesting story to share with you guys. Beside me is Kumi who is the founder of 1964 brand which is a sustainable women's wear brand located in Lagos, Nigeria. So today she's going to be sharing her story about how she started this brand and her journey so far. So how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, thanks yeah. for having me in your Thanks your for place coming. Of work. <laughs> thanks for coming. Yeah, so what's 1964 brand and how did you get started? I studied economics in school. Okay. So during my NYSC, I I did my side, the skill acquisition program. It was oh, in okay. fashion designing. So that's oh. where I learned pattern drafting. And that's when I got my first machine. Oh, yeah, so. Okay. And this one? Yeah, this one. This oh, is it. Nice. Right, so I started sewing at home and I had a blog then. I used to blog really? like fashion okay. and lifestyle. Wow, so my friends nice. would say, oh, this stuff that you're wearing, I like it. And then I'll say, okay, I'll make it for you. I'll oh, make it for okay. you. I'll make it for you. So I started doing that, making small money. Mm -hmm. At the time, I didn't want to turn it into a business. Okay. Right? Because I didn't want the pressure. Yeah. So when I got out of school and I tried to get a job, that day I went for the interview and before I even got home, they just sent me a rejection. Wow. Email. So I'm like, you know what, I'm not looking for a job, a job anymore. anymore. I'm done. I got home, I was crying. I cried for like three days. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. I cried for like three Sorry. days. And my mom is like, okay, you know what, let's go to Lagos Island. Let's go and buy you an industrial machine. Start doing this because we had a space Ooh, at the back of our cool. house. Like so yeah, supporting. this is the machine that she, she bought. bought. Wow. Yeah. And it felt like I was finally getting my life together. I started small. I had one tailor, back and forth, back and forth. And then in 2017, that's the beginning of 2017, my mom passed. Wow, sorry and it was just sad, like, it was my motivation and all of that. At the time, I didn't even have a name. I was just sewing and on, I didn't have a name for my brand. And then she was born in 1964. So I'm like, Ooh, okay, just to honor her, let's just, to yeah, to, yeah. Wow. Named the brand 1964 brand. And my siblings were like, oh, nice, that's fine. Let's, let's do this. So that's where the name 1964 came about. So how has it been like building a business in Nigeria, in Lagos especially? Lagos? Right. The major challenge is hiring staff. My current tailors, I think this is the longest that I've had any tailor stay with me. Because, I mean, they would come next thing. They're looking for the next best thing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but I tried to make it like a comfortable space where you come and then you see the long term, the long term and not yes. just short term. Because yeah. some will come to say, oh, if you're not paying me 150k, I need yeah. to go. Or yeah. some have other jobs other in jobs, different yeah. places. So, hiring help is a major challenge. Another challenge is logistics. Last week, I told the customer, okay, you'll get your package so and so day. I know that on my own part that I'll do everything possible to, to make sure that she gets day. her order yeah. on that day. And then the delivery company disappointed. Wow. And I'm yeah. like, oh my God. Like, so you have to rely on so many, so many people, people who are also relying on so, so many, many people. people. <laughs> she was livid because she wanted the dress for her birthday and everything. Wow. But I had to apologize to her, offer her incentives to just like understand that this is Nigeria. And then sourcing for products. So you can go to the market now because we mostly use cotton fabric. Okay. and prep. You can go to the market now and today it's 700. By next week, you, they would say it's 1,000. But we keep going, we keep trying and hopefully we we'll be here, we'll get there. <laughs> what are some of the good parts, the positive parts about having your own business? Well, people are now more open to buying from Nigerian brands. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing more positive impact on that end. So some, like when we started, to get someone to buy one item, you have to talk and talk and talk and talk. But now we have customers coming in, buying three things at once, five things at once. So that's also a good part as well. And then I guess you probably want to understand each customer. What, yes, what she wants. So on our website, there's a form that when they when they sign up, like it takes their birthday really? and all of that. And that's wow. why I try as well to um, put a handwritten note with every order. So like really? there's that, yeah. So there's a that's personal, cool. there's a personal touch to it so that 
at least person feels like oh i'm talking to a human being mm -hmm. and not just a business yeah and that's why i sometimes i like that it was still a small business because every with everything i sometimes i package the orders by myself sometimes i'm scared that okay when this business now grows very big yeah how would you uh, yeah like i will not have that, that personal touch yeah. the packaging orders well, because that's what excites me i think buying something from somebody mm -hmm. is an experience mm -hmm. and what you're trying to give people is an experience yeah yeah in terms yeah. of as they're opening the product just like when you buy yeah. a new macbook or you exactly. buy a new airport yeah. just opening the packaging Alone. is an experience yeah. yeah where do you see your brand in the next let's say five years hmm. a lot of things <laughs> I see us going more into the global space. We've already started that. So during the pandemic, we had the opportunity to do X retail by Lagos Fashion Week. And then in my mind, I'm like, all these things, they never pick small brands. Mm -hmm. like us. And my friend now sent it to me again, so I just applied that. Oh, well, anything could happen. And then they picked us. I was looking at all the big Nigerian brands mm -hmm. that they picked as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, nobody's going to purchase. And then others there coming in. And then at the end of the whole thing, they were like, we're the top seller. Are like we serious? sold the most items from that X retail. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, and I'm like, oh my god, wow. Like, if you actually put your mind to something, you could. Because I spent a lot of money and I was just panicking, like, let this thing just let come true. Come and through. indeed, thankfully. And yeah, so in the next five years, I hope we can grow to become, like, reach out to more countries. Currently, US, we do US, we do France, we do Canada. Oh, reach out nice. to more countries in the world and more people hear about us and what we do. So, where do you source your materials from? Like, do you import them or how do you no, get your materials? No, no, we don't, I don't yet have the capacity to import, right? But I don't even want to import, we just get them locally. Okay. So from Lagos Island, Balogu Market, Yaba, oh, okay. just okay. locally. What are some of the tools you've been using to like market your business or to just operate this business? We use Google Sheets okay. to keep stock of orders. We also use Google My Business. Oh, you use Google My yeah, Business? Yeah, Google My okay. Business. So people, some people find us through Google My Business. Okay. And we use, obviously, we use Gmail to, <laughs> to, send, yeah, to send mails to our customers. And, oh, nice. yeah. When you started, how much did you start with? When you started this whole business? Yeah, so when I was in NYC, I bought my first machine okay. from my NYC allowance. It was 19000 okay. then. But when I wanted to start properly, and my mom took me to the markets, we bought these two machines. That at the time one was like 160, 150, so let's just say roughly 300k. 300k. I started with, okay. yeah. So the reason I ask that question is there are lots of young people out there who are mm -hmm. waiting to have like like yeah. 50 million or yeah. 20 million yeah. before they can before they feel like they can start mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. What is your advice to them as somebody who started a business even with what you just had? Obviously, we usually hear start with what you just have, and it's not it might not be realistic at the time. So what I, what I did, I got side jobs. Okay. So I used to do um, social media management. Oh, okay. I also started um, at the time Google put out an ad that they wanted to train like a number of Africans before 2020 or something like that. Okay. So I started doing Google digital skills as well. So I would go to schools, I would go to banks, I would go to all these network marketing companies that have a lot of people to train them. Yeah. Google would pay you as you train, the amount of the oh, amount of okay, you train. Cool. So I got some side income, then I started selling small things on the side. And then I started a delivery business as well. Right, wow. but I stopped that one because the riders wanted to kill me. <laughs> so it's not like, obviously, if you start with what you have, maybe you have only 50k, 50k can only sustain for just a okay, while. Okay. So just have something that is giving you, that can take care of you, and yeah, you can just put in the business yeah. as well. So even during the pandemic, yeah. yeah, so my tailors could not come to work. So I started making news masks as well. Really? Yeah. Oh, and nice. So another yeah. thing is to learn is learn skills, learn different skills, because then the opportunity can come up at any time. Anyway. Up until last month, I do photography as well. Well, so up until last hey. month, I, <laughs> my friend that has a fashion brand, right? Yeah. I was the one that took the pictures for their brand. Yeah, we have right. two different types of brands, but she couldn't get a photographer at the time. She was not in the country, and then she's like, "Oh, can you do this for me?" And then she paid me, and I put the money in my business. <laughs> so yeah. So what? Man, I can't wait to see can... how. I can't wait to see how much you grow in the next couple of years. So. Yes, um, your skills can come in handy at any time. So just learn a lot of skills. So try and cut costs where you can. Don't be looking at another brand that is doing grand stuff. That is doing billboard as Yeah, <laughs> and then feel bad. So far you have the same outcome. You're making sales, you're building your community. 
Yeah. You would do great. Thank you very much. You're I think welcome. that is a good that's a good ending to this yeah. <laughs> to this story. Yeah. Thanks a lot for sharing your story with us. Thank we really appreciate it. I'm sure some people out there who are also starting up have learned something yeah, from, from what so. you shared. <laughs> so guys, yeah, that's all we have for you today. I'm gonna to link the pages below so you guys can reach out to her. If you need any of this really nice fashion, oh that's what it's fashion outfit. What are yeah. things you do? Clothes, clothes bra, bra, maxi dresses, free dresses, comfortable dresses, easy dresses. Our brand is all about comfort, so yeah. But you don't do anyone for guys. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So guys, yeah, that's, that's all we have for you today. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.